Hey everybody, welcome back. Just want to do a follow-up video with some answers to some questions that people have had about the lossless scaling frame generation video I did a few days ago. There's inevitably always some things that I forget to talk about when doing the video and grateful for some of the people who put some comments that have reminded me of things. So first of all, the question is, where do you get this? You get this from Steam and you do have to download Steam. I don't understand Steam. I don't understand why you would use it. I don't understand what the point is, but you have to download Steam, sign up for Steam, and then buy this program through Steam. You do not have to run Steam to run this program. When you run it for the first time, it will show up as an icon on your taskbar. And all I did was simply right click it, come here and selected pin to taskbar. And then this icon will be on your taskbar, whether you have lossless scaling running or not. And what you can do then to turn to launch the program is simply click on the icon and it will launch the program. If you don't want to put it on your taskbar, all you have to do is, you know, your windows and then lossless scaling and select it from there. Second thing I wanted to talk about is, does this work with AMD cards? Here's the beauty of this program. It works with anything. This would work with a GTX 670. This would work with any AMD card. As a matter of fact, if I come down here, you can see preferred GPU. I have an Intel UHD graphics card. You know, it's this this program will work with any graphics card. AMD, Nvidia, doesn't matter what. Now, here's the other cool thing. This program will work it, it doesn't work with the SIM. It doesn't work through the SIM. All this program does is capture what's on your screen using technology that's similar to what we use to stream. Like I, I use OBS Studio to stream. All, all OBS Studio is is a screen capture. It has various technologies for doing that, but that's all OBS Studio is, is a screen capture. All lossless scaling is, is a screen capture. It's the same technology. So it literally doesn't matter what program you're running. It will work on any program. It will work on YouTube videos. If, if for whatever reason you're getting choppy performance on YouTube videos, like if you're watching YouTube videos in full screen on your computer, it'll work on YouTube videos. Presumably it would work on Amazon videos. It would work on Netflix if you're watching that in your computer. It works on whatever is rendered on your screen. That's the beautiful thing. The only restriction that I'm aware of is it can't be a full screen program. There's some confusion about this as regards Microsoft Flight Simulator, because in Microsoft Flight Simulator, there is an option for full screen and for windowed. The full screen option in Microsoft Flight Simulator is not full screen. It's borderless windowed. So all it means, so I have one monitor. When I select full screen mode in Microsoft Flight Simulator, all it does is expand the window of Microsoft Flight Simulator to cover my entire screen. Because Microsoft Flight Simulator is based on FSX code and FSX was a windowed game, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is a windowed game. So that's kind of why it works. It, it's more likely to work with an older game rather than like a brand new 2024 game that is actual full screen rather than borderless windowed. I don't play any other games besides Microsoft Flight Simulator, so I don't know which ones it works on, which ones it doesn't. There is a list of games that it works with in their Steam page. If you go to the Steam page for loss of scaling, there is a list of games that it works with. So you can check that and see whether the game you want to use it with will work. But it'll work with any game any program, anything, as long as it's not full screen. I don't know why that's the case. It's just the way it is. The next thing that is mind-blowing about this is that because it doesn't work on the SIM itself, it doesn't work through the SIM itself, like the frame generation mod is an option that you enable in the SIM once you 
you know, sort of trick the, the SIM into thinking you've got frame generation. You turn it on in the SIM and it works in the SIM. Loss of scaling, like I said, doesn't work on the SIM level. It just looks at what's on your screen. And what it does is it takes whatever image is on the screen and it predicts what the next image is going to be. It slots another frame between the one right now and the one and the next one that your sim generates the next one that your pc generates it slots one frame in between those two actual frames or if you've got it on the times three mode it will fit two frames in between the two real frames the great thing is it doesn't matter what your settings are dx11 dx12 dlss TAA, your TLODs, your OLOD, it doesn't matter. You can set your SIM up to run however you want it to run, whatever works best for you, and then use loss of scaling with frame generation to simply generate extra frames. It's that simple. Any settings you want to use, it's, it's, it's just amazing. It really is. The other thing is you do not have to have this running before you start the SIM. You can launch the program after you've launched Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can launch it before. It doesn't make any difference. And the other thing is you can scale and unscale. Now, the scale button, if you have frame generation set up, which is what we have here, and I have scaling off, the scale button is the one that turns on and turns off the frame generation. It turns on and turns off whatever you have set here. I have had some difficulty getting the hotkey to work. It's no big deal. If for whatever reason, if you can't get the hotkey to work, it doesn't doesn't really matter. When you're running Microsoft Flight Simulator, just open the window, click scale. It will take five seconds to activate, and you're good to go. The trajectory of this program over the last six months, since January when I first covered it, has been absolutely unbelievable. One of the things that really impressed me was I've read a whole bunch of comments from people on the video that I posted the other day. There are people with 4090 graphics cards using native frame gen, using the, the 4090 native frame gen from NVIDIA, who are now stacking frame gen from lossless scaling on top of that, who are blown away. So we're talking people with the absolute cream of the crop tech setup and this program, this $7 program, has taken their performance to the next level. The last thing I will say in regards to that, specifically the feedback from 4090 users, not one of them has said, I'm blown away, my frame rates are off the charts now. What they have said is, the smoothness of the performance is unbelievable. And I've been trying to make this point for a long time now. People use FPS like a drunk uses a lamppost for support rather than illumination. I don't care. You guys know I don't care what my frame rates are as long as my performance is smooth. This program does that. This program gets you that. I don't care that it gets me twice the frame rates. That doesn't matter to me. If my performance was the same in terms of choppiness using this program, but my frame rate was twice as high, I wouldn't use it. What, do, what have I gained? In turning this on and seeing a smoother performance, that's what I'm looking for. That's the win. The other thing is you can use this in combination with the frame gen mod. You can use this in combination with auto FPS. It has no interaction, no effect on any of those things. That's kind of V2 of what I have, the information I've compiled over the last couple of days regarding this program. It's amazing. I know that some people will see the headline, the thumbnail, and say, yeah, 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 triple your frame rate, whatever. If I tell you guys something, and the majority of you find it not to be true, you're not going to watch my videos anymore. You're not going to subscribe to my channel. I don't bring you anything that I don't know 
works. Now, does it work for every single person? No. There, there are people who have had issues with, like, oh, my, my performance is choppy using this. That generally says, in this case, that you're probably trying to achieve too much. And you need to lower your frame rate cap to something that you can reasonably achieve. Otherwise, the program's not going to give you that smooth performance. For anybody who hasn't tried this, any game, any graphics card, it's astounding. So I hope this kind of fills in the gaps for the video I made the other day. And I'd love to hear any more questions, comments, experiences that you guys have had in the comments section to this video. I thank you again for watching, and I hope everybody's having a great day.